Hey guys, happy Saturday. Becky Tim's here live. So listen, I am a total hot mess right now. I just got finished watching um, This Is Us. And you guys know I um, am catching up on watching This Is Us because I don't watch TV because I've been so involved in running my Amazon business. And so I, I just want to forewarn you, I'll probably cry on this one. Hey, Alan, so good to see you. I'll probably cry on this drive at five, but I really don't care because I'm a hot mess and I just got finished crying anyway. So anyway, in this particular episode, um, Kevin, if you watch This Is Us, Kevin was um, going back to his high school. And so it got me, especially with the events that took, this, took place this week, and I'll share those with you in a second, it got me thinking, um, reminiscing about when I was in high school. And so I have this crown on because I, I went to a very small school, like my graduating class was 63 people. We were um, a very poor school district and it's like a 1A school, so very, very tiny. But I remember sitting in the um, auditorium at our school and um, that's where they would have the pageants, right? So I went to North High School and they would have Miss Eagle, and you know, Miss Eagle would be crowned and everything. And, and I knew that I would never be Miss Eagle, but I loved going to those pageants and I loved watching them where they would get, get their crowns and they would all start crying and everything. And I was like, and, and you know, I was voted most intelligent, so I was like, well, damn, I'll just private label my own crown, right? And so that's what I did. But, but listen, sitting in that very, very auditorium, um, I think we were like in, I don't know, maybe 10th, 11th, 12th grade, some, one of those years in high school. And they brought in some inmates um, from like Columbia, South Carolina. And I'll never forget it. One of the guys, he was an African-American guy and he got on stage and he told his story. And he was like, my name used to be John, but now it's 257661 or whatever. And I was like, I thought it was funny, right? I was like, that's that's pretty funny. So afterwards, after it was over, it was very impactful. It made an impact on me. But after it was over, um, I smoked. Like I smoked in high school. I remember going out to smoke. And I remember, I remember saying um, to my friends, my name used to be Becky, but now it's 251366. And everybody laughed, right? Well, today, no, not today, this week, I actually got a letter from my sister, and for those of you that have been following me, you know that she's in jail, and she does have a number, and her number is 375908, and, you know, they go through her mail and everything, and so I was reading her letter, and it was very, um, it was very sad, and so since I was watching This Is Us, and I don't know if you if you, I don't know if you're new to watching me, then, you know, you can watch. But my mom, 31 years ago, my mom was also in jail. So history is kind of repeating itself here. Right. And so I have the letters. I went back and found them tonight. But I have the letters of my mom writing to us in foster care and then us writing to her back and it was kind of like a this is us because one of the letters is my brother writing to my mom and he was in like um like 11th grade and I was in seventh grade so that put my little sister like in second grade right and so it was my sister drew my mom a picture and we mailed her that and um, it was around Christmas, so we were in foster care at Christmas so it was like 1985 1986 was when we were in foster care and my brother was was telling my mom, oh, well, Becky's going to mental health. So I was the only crazy one, right? I was like in 12th grade or 12, 12 years old going to mental health. And my sister wasn't doing good in school. And then he was doing drugs. I think that was what was going on at that point in our life. But just reading, reading me, writing my mom and telling her what was going on in their lives. And then, of course, my sister just drew a picture. But it, it made me think about when I was in mental health at um, the age of 12, and it literally, like, I could write, or before I got on here, I could feel myself, like, sitting in that little room in um, Orangeburg at the mental health clinic. And I remember they, like, took me in this room, 
probably about the size of the room I'm in now. And they said, you know, tell me what happened to you. And they gave me two doll babies, right? And I had to like do, do all this stuff that happened to me. And I remember there was a window there, but it wasn't until like years later that I knew that this window was a window that they could see in. So I, you know, I was like a little girl, they could see in, but I couldn't see out. But I was, I'm saying all of this to say it just brought back so many memories just from watching a show. I don't know. This is us. It's like pretty emotional anyway. I'm just like a ball of emotional roller coaster every time I watch it. But I really, really like watching it. But I wanted to come on here and tell you, you know, be careful what you joke, quote unquote, joke about. Because, I mean, I've never been to jail, so I have no idea what it's like. But. I hope I never get a number 251366, but, you know, my sister has a number. My brother's been in jail. My mom, she's passed away, but she was in jail. And I was like, oh, good God, I, I just don't want to do this, right? So, because I only, I don't watch TV either, but I only read in the past, I don't know, many, many years. I only read like self-improvement books and things to get better and better and better. Because as you can imagine, with my kind of past, it's really, really hard to overcome a lot of things. And so I bought a book to read. And this is a book about, um, this is just a fiction book, but you'll never guess the name of it. It's called Big Girl Panties. I can't wait to read it. So if you uh, have been following me, um, anyway, this is about this little chunky girl. And she's a widow. And she's having a bad hair day. And she sits by this hot guy. And he thinks she has some junk in her trunk or whatever. But anyway, I'll read that. And so here's the big girl, Penny. So I know I might be feeling sorry for myself today. But I promise you I'm going to pick up my big girl panties and I will be back going for more. Look, I even got some lace on these, like lace, right? I'm going to put them on and I will be back tomorrow because, you know, things, things happen in life. We all go through some junk and um, I, I hope this video like inspires you that no matter what you're going through, if you put your mind to it, guys, you can um, you can do better and you can get you can tell yourself every day I'm getting better and better and better no matter what you're going through. And so I was thinking about this fiction book because I told you I only listen to self-development, positive books. But one time. I said, well, I'm going to read like one of those trashy books, right? And I bought one and I remember it was probably the second time we went camping and um, this was brought up because I was down there watching This Is Us and I was um, washed the, the picnic blanket that we took camping and I was laying on the blanket reading this trashy book um, on, on the banks of the pond while my boys were fishing while we were camping and this guy walks up. And he starts chit-chatting. And so I'm kind of like embarrassed, right? So I turn my book over so he can see the cover of the book. And he starts talking about, do we like camping there, et cetera, et cetera. And um, it turns out that the guy was a pastor from like down here in Charleston, but we were about two hours away. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm reading this trashy book. So I totally felt judged that I was reading this trashy book outside of um, the camping thing, right? So anyway, I haven't read a, a book other than positive self-talk, um, positive self-development since that trashy book until I just ordered this one off of Amazon, Big Girl Panty. So I'm going to read it. It's fiction. It's by Stephanie Ivanovich. I thought it was kind of cool just because I was doing some research on Big Girl Panties, and I'll just read it and let you know if it's any good or not. So that's what I wanted to share with all with you all tonight. It's 1216, and... Um, just, just, I want you to use this as inspiration no matter what you're going through. Guys, you can get through it, I promise. And life's going to throw you some curveballs, I'm not going to lie. I mean, every day I have to think about, you know, choices that I've made. And, and like right now we have my nephew with us. Every weekend we're going to pick him up and they want to play these the video games. And um, I was like, guys, you need to go to bed because we have tomorrow we have baseball practices. I'm sorry, a baseball game and baseball pictures. So I have to go to bed too, so I can be alert for that tomorrow. But just wanted to jump on here and share that with you all tonight. And 
I'm going to retire my Amazon Queen tiara because I'm going to get a new tiara um, called Ecom Rockstar. And so I'm looking into designing that right now. Um, Christiana. Oh, I'm glad you're inspired. I, I, um, you know, when I do these drive at fives, I do them a lot for me. Um, because it's, it's hard, like every single day, especially, you know, if you have dirty, rotten scoundrels in your life and every, and even today, my, um, my best friend called me. She's like, Hey, you didn't tell me that your sister went to jail. And I was, I was like, well, I told you that, you know, she was going to court and I guess I forgot to follow up. And I was like, well, how'd you find out? And she's like, girl, it's in the paper. I was like, you know, we're in the South. That was like three weeks ago and it's just now hitting the paper. And I was like, so we're, we're a little slow over here, but, um, she, it really is the best place for her. And I, um, I, I will make sure that her kids are well taken care of and that they will not have to go to be in a foster home and, and their dad is, um, very good to them. So I'm very grateful for that as well. So that's what I wanted to share tonight. I can't really see any comments or anything, but, um, I thank you for watching. I thank you for supporting me in my e-commerce journey, and um, thanks for being you. I hope you all have an amazing night. Bye.